All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about markdowns and panels. So to start, you're just going to, if you go up to the top of your Twitch channel, because we're on my Twitch channel, there is the edit panel thing. Just click it so that way you're in the edit panel mode. Super simple. You're going to go down to create a blank one here with the little plusy sign. We're going to click on it. Um, if it's an extension one, which we'll cover in extensions, you'll click this. I would recommend doing that through extension specifically. So we're going to focus on the add a text or image panel. Really easy. If you want a title, which I don't always recommend doing, if you're going to have an image title, don't bother with this. You just type it in here. If you want to add an image, you just click this. Choose a file or drag it here. You go through here, and that way you can go through your computer and find the file. Um, if you want the image to link to something, you'll post the link right in this little section here. Where the little flashy thing is. And in here we have descriptions. So this is where you can type a whole bunch of stuff. And we also have the whole markdown feature, which we're going to go over here. So I make sure I cover everything in the markdowns. But let's get started. So we have a couple options here. We have bold, italic, link, and the three different headers. So it's pretty simple. To bold something, you're going to hit asterisk twice. Type in whatever it is you want and hit asterisk twice. If you want it italicized, you'll use asterisk once, type whatever, asterisk once at the end. For a link, you're going to use a bracket. You're going to type in what you want the name of the link to be. So it's basically going to make a hyperlink. So whatever you want the name to be, close bracket, and then parentheses, put the link here, parentheses, for a link, I'm going to show you how this looks for a finished product. We actually have three different headers. It's basically just using what most of you millennials know as, or excuse me, teenagers know as, the hashtag key space. There's a header two, two of them space. And then there's a third one, which is three of them space. For a line break. Hold on. Hold on here. Let's just show you guys what these look like real quick. So you have to hit submit first and foremost. Hit edit. Ah, let me close that. And then you'll see it down here. So here we have a bolded, italicized, a link, and then the three different headers. Ah. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Scrolling back to that panel so we can edit it. So for me, when I want to do a line break is I use the little alligator mouse that's going towards the left and I type whatever. If I want it to indent even more, I do it twice, type. Ta-da! And it indents and it gives that little fancy line right there. But yeah, pretty simple. Um, an ordered list, something like this. I just use the numbers. It looks the exact same way. But yeah, that's all it is for how to do markdowns. Pretty simple and easy to use. If you want to remove the said panel, you'll go back into edit. And you'll just hit the remove right next to submit. And there we go. Yeah, that's how you guys can make super nice looking panels. So that way, you'll see here I have all of them linked. You'll see here these are linked. This has an indent. These are a header. Um, we have bolding. We have italicized. Numbering. All sorts of stuff. And it makes it look a lot nicer when you do that. You can also link images. Stuff like that. All sorts of different stuff. But yeah. That's how you guys will set up your panel so they can look super nice and pretty, just like all the other Twitch streamers out there. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because I appreciate the hell out of it. And so you can keep up with all my content. And as always, happy streaming.